Every MIDI controller is different, and setting up your play, pause, and record buttons can sometimes be a pain. Play, pause, back, forward, and record are known as transport controls. And in this video, we'll learn how to troubleshoot and what to do if we want to use these transport controls within FL Studio. So let's take a look. Please like and subscribe. Disclaimer before we get started is that every MIDI controller is going to be different. And a lot of this stuff you're going to have to actually do on your own MIDI device. And for me to be able to record every single MIDI device and show you how on every device is almost impossible. So there's going to be a lot of uses of the phrase, go see the infamous user manual. Now you might say, Warren, if you're sending me to the user manual, then why do I need you? And I am simply here right now to show you what's going on between your MIDI controller and FL Studio so that you know what to look for to troubleshoot your issues, as well as offer a couple solutions that might work for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first things first is we are going to check our controller types. If you already know this, you can skip this part to the next timestamp. If you don't, every controller is potentially, I say potentially, going to have an option in here for it, which will map your controller correctly to FL Studio and should make sure that your transport controls work if your controller is in here. If your controller is not in here, then you'll be using generic controller like the rest of us, and we've got more stuff to figure out. If you are using one of these setups and it's still not working, then follow along. Maybe we'll have another solution for you. Second thing second, is we're gonna look up at this knob over here in the top left, and we're going to play with our keyboard. FL Studio Transport Controls uses MMC information instead of CC information. And so we're gonna learn how to troubleshoot that. And if we look up in the top left, when we're clicking the play, stop, and record buttons on our controller, we're gonna see this in one of three colors, either green, orange, or gray. If I click my play key, we'll see the slide up green here. But first, let's talk about if you're getting nothing. If you are getting nothing there, then that means that FL Studio is receiving no signal or doesn't recognize the signal. So if you play the rest of your keys and you turn the rest of your knobs and you're getting things coming through, then that means that your transport controls themselves are probably sending information not recognized by FL Studio or no information. And you will, yes, you guessed it, have to check your user manual to see if you can change the information being sent from your controller and from those transport controls. And note, if you're coming from Pro Tools and using FL Studio, there's something called Pro Tools Express or PTEX is what it's listed as on my MIDI controller. If you're sending the Pro Tools Express information, FL Studio will not recognize it. That's one of those things that you're going to have to change in your settings. So if you're coming from Pro Tools, most likely you're set to Pro Tools Express and that's where your issue is going to be. Now, if you're getting green like I am, that means that there's MIDI signal coming into FL Studio, but that MIDI signal is unhandled or the MIDI input was received but not used by anything. So, and this also probably means that we're sending CC information from the keyboard to FL Studio. And here's the problem with the CC information. If we go up here to these kinds of controls, we can't right click them for a linked controller like we could, for example, this. I can come here, linked controller, and I can move something that's green. I could probably even press the play button. I press the play button, and now every time I could click play, that's going to turn up. And as you see, we're orange now instead of the green. So I can't right click link. I also can't click play and stop and come up here and go tools last tweaked. The last tweaked thing it's going to give me is this panning information here or the pan knob over here. So when we're sending just regular green CC information that is unlinked to anything, it just doesn't work. 
you're going to have to go into your keyboard and see if you can change it to MMC information or MIDI machine control information. And here's what I did on my Akai MPK 249. So I went into the preset that I was using. You can see here. I already have it set up on one of my other channels, so I'll use this one. Or matter of fact, I'll just use that. I click Edit, and as you can see, it says MIDI CC for my transport controls. And I can turn that to MMC. Now, if you're not seeing that and you're using an MPK249, it's because it edits the last thing you clicked. So if I turn one of these knobs, you're going to see it's a knob for... MIDI, CC, whatever info. If I click stop or play or any of those things, you'll see it went to transport control. And we want MMC. So we're good with that. And now if you'll see, when I click the transport controls, this knob in the top left is going to be orange. But not only is it going to be orange, I can now do my record, play, stop, and everything else by using my MIDI controller. Now, it being orange doesn't mean that you're sending MMC information or that your controller is going to work. Orange just means that the controller is linked to something. So, for example, if I come over here and I link to controller, we're orange up in the top left. However, if you're orange in the top left for something like your transport controls, your play, pause, things like that, then more times than not, you're going to be sending MMC information, but not the correct MMC information. To give an example of this, if I go to my MIDI settings and for my MPK249, I change this to an Akai FL Studio Fire. I'm going to go and change this back to CC info. Okay, I am now sending MIDI CC info. See, I click play, we're gonna highlight the playlist. And every time I click one of these, we're getting orange, which means they're linked to something. And they're going to do transport control type of actions. And another side note and disclaimer is while I'm assuming that when I see it orange and doing these things in FL Studio, like selecting the playlist, that it's MMC information, I could be wrong. So take that part with a grain of salt. So because I set it up to be a specific controller type, it's going to take whatever it wants, that CC information, and go, oh, this is supposed to be this kind of info in this location. And that brings me to the next thing. If you've tried everything, and your user manual isn't going to let you, isn't going to tell you how to change the stuff you need to change, or maybe you are sending MMC information and instead it's controlling something else that you're not supposed to be controlling, then you can come into your MIDI settings and you have every single one of these to potentially solve your problem. One that I've seen a lot in forums and on videos that you can try is the Mackie Control Universal. But keep in mind, whenever you're changing these, it's going to change the organization for all the rest of the knobs and all the rest of the buttons on your MIDI controller, which could be bad or could be great. Just something for you to know and understand before you just go clicking things. Something extra, because some of you may see it. If this knob up here is blue, that means you have a global link, which basically means that the link is saved to be used in the same fashion on every FL Studio project. So if I right click this and I click override global link or set up a global link and I move one of my things here and link it, as you'll see, it's blue. The reason it's blue is because I can run a whole project in here and open an entirely new project. And that's still going to be linked. That's going to work forever until I unlink it. If you want to know more cool stuff about linking things like that, click the video above. But as for what we're doing right now, I just want you to know, if you see blue, don't panic. 
It just means you're linked to something across every project. So that's just about all of it. While FL Studio is a great DAW and my favorite of all time, it does still come with drawbacks, much like any DAW. It's just in this case for this one, it's programming MMC information. And because FL Studio is lacking that flexibility, you're going to have to do it on your controller. But after watching this video, hopefully you know and can understand and figure out where the problem is and how to fix it. If we see a gray knob, you're not getting information or you're getting Pro Tools Express information, that'll have to be changed on your controller. If you're getting a green knob, then that means that you're most likely sending unlinked CC information to FL Studio, which needs to be changed to MMC information on your controller. If you're getting orange, that means you're linked to something or you are sending MMC information but the incorrect MMC information, in which case that most likely has to be changed on your controller. And as a bonus, if you're getting blue, it just basically means linked, but linked across every project. Most of the time you won't see that, but that can be thought of the same as the color orange, except for it's most likely and more likely not to be MMC information. So the real question is going to come down to, can you change it on your controller? Check your user manual, play around, and if you can't, the last ditch effort is to change the MIDI controller type on FL Studio to try and see if you can get that to solve your problem. And if you haven't already, scroll through those MIDI controller types to see if your controller is listed. So I hope that this was helpful. If it wasn't, please continue to be patient. FL Studio is always updating, so hopefully the next update that comes, they'll be coming to save you. And while it is very convenient to be able to use the controls on your MIDI, on your MIDI keyboard to play, pause, and record, in the meantime, I'm sure you already know, but in case you don't, please enjoy using the space bar to play and stop, as well as the button R to prime your record option. And if all else fails, keep digging. Let me know if you find something. So if you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. This is Warren with Scale Audio and adios.